President Joe Biden has signed an executive order to streamline the process of applying for Social Security and Medicare benefits online. Also included in the order are other measures to reduce governmental red tape when dealing with federal agencies. In fact, the order includes a commitment to improve 36 customer service experiences across 17 federal agencies. The order affirms that the government must be held accountable for designing and delivering services with a focus on the actual experience people have, the people that these programs are meant to serve. It also says the government must work to deliver services more equitably and efficiently, especially for those people who are historically underserved. It speaks to process improvement, efficiencies, and technology that can be put in place. As he signed this executive order, President Joe Biden said, we're going to make the government work more effectively for American citizens so it's not as confusing and it's straightforward. The administration commented that the whole idea is to make it easier and simpler for people to access government services and benefits. Most of the changes are expected to take place over the next several months. There are some agency-specific changes outlined in the executive order. We can expect changes to come out of agencies like the IRS, the Department of Labor, Department of Education, and Homeland Security. We got some detail on the Department of Agriculture, their food and nutrition services. They said they're going to simplify enrollment and recertification for food assistance programs like SNAP benefits, also called food stamps or food share, and the Women, Infant, and Child program. The Health and Human Services Department said they're going to expand customer support in Medicare, maternal health, and they're going to streamline enrollment and renewal processes. They went as far as to say we're going to support coordination between benefit programs to ensure applicants and beneficiaries in one program are automatically enrolled in other programs that they're eligible for. Also, some more detail on Social Security. They said they're going to eliminate unnecessary face-to-face visits and make more processes available online. They're going to support applicants and beneficiaries to identify other benefits which they might be eligible for, just like Health and Human Services. And they said they're going to integrate Social Security Administration data and processes with other federal agencies. We give you more on the executive order in the description below that goes into much more detail on some of the plan changes to streamline and eliminate red tape across the federal government.